Today I'm going to show you how you can easily import an image into a specific frame size. In this example, I already have loaded on here my background picture with the television and the television stand. Next, I need to open up the image I want to place inside there. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and open up the picture I would like to use. Now I'm going to go back to the TV stand image and we need to go ahead and set up the parameters for where we want the picture to go. And we're going to do that using the lasso tool, okay, which is here on the left, shortcut L. But we're going to use the polygon lasso tool because we're going to be making a square. So the key here is making sure that the square is complete and it connects back to each other. So I'm going to click once here in this corner slowly drag down, click once with the mouse in this corner, click once with the mouse here, and here's the important part is making sure it goes back and connects to itself. You know it does that when it'll have the little white circle appear, and when you connect it, it should have the ants marching around it. So this is where we want our picture to go. Now we're going to go back to the image we want to insert. We're going to do the couple shortcuts. Control A for all for the whole photo. Control C to copy. We're going to go back to the TV stand, but this time we're going to go to edit, paste special, and then paste into. And that will place it into the TV frame. Now at this point, it needs to be tweaked just a little bit more. To do that, we can do Control T. This is what is called Edit Transform, and we can resize it. It may help if you hold the Shift key down as you resize it to keep those same parameters. Okay, now you can resize it a little bit if you want more of the background with oak leaf, or if you would like to make that a little bit larger so you see more of her adorable face you can um, you could also if you wanted to um, twist it a little bit for the background and when you're finished you can just um, do control D or click off of there to move and we're gonna click right there at that little check mark to apply that and then you just simply file Save as, we can call this TV stand Oakley because now Oakley is in the TV picture. Thanks again for watching another great tutorial from